Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Black Tie Affairs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a photo puzzle. Um, some things that you will need is, um, of course, the picture. You're going to need the puzzle templates. Um, you're going to need some sticky paper. This is the sticky paper that I use for this project. And also, this is the chipboard I use for the backing of the puzzle. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So I already had uploaded my image that I want to put on the puzzle. And now I'm going to upload my puzzle template. So I went to images. I searched puzzle. And I since I already purchased it, um, I just went to filter and went by the ones that was already purchased. But let me go back. Okay, so I just went and did puzzle. Um, these are the different puzzles that you can purchase if you don't have the Cricut Access, which is I do not. Um, these, um, like I said, you can purchase these. They have different templates and shapes, whatever you desire. But I went to purchase because since I already purchased the template, um, this is the one I purchased. And this is the um, M68E363 if you want to use the same one I purchased. So I'm just going to go back and insert my puzzle template. And like I said, it's going to come up as a cut file. So I just unlocked it. Um, this puzzle I am doing a 4x6. So I just re sized it to my liking um and then i also resized the picture as well and i'm just going to bring this to the front i'm going to put this and this together and you're going to attach it and that's basically how you do the puzzle. Um, I already have mine on here. I just had it hidden. So I'm going to delete this one. And once you attach it, it's going to um, resize the images. You can keep it that way. Or you can go back up here and just do a four by six. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lock it. And I'm going to go to make it. I'm going to go to continue. I'm sending it to my printer. And with this, I like to... Um, keep my bleed on I'm just waiting for it to upload and I'm going to print it out once they print out I'm going to put it on my mat and I'm going to come back on the video okay so my image is printed out so basically I'm just going to take it off this stick of paper and I'm going to put it on this chipboard um, onto my mat okay so I put my um, image on the chipboard and you're going to go to um, custom on your Cricut and you're going to go to chipboard. I already have it here because I have it one of my, as one of my favorites, but you just go to browse materials and you're going to go where it says light chipboard, 37 millimeters. No, I'm sorry. You're going to go to 0.5 millimeters. It's the one that I use. And you're going to go, you're going to click on that. Um, and you're going to change out your blade to a deep blade. Um, I usually put more pressure. Um, but with other puzzles I did, I use just my regular blade. So I might not need it. For this one, but since I'm so used to doing it that way, I'm just going to keep it with the more blade. 
and then I'm going to put it on my Cricut and I'm going to let y'all see it cut. And it's basically scanning right now. <clears throat> and my mat is not that thick, so I'm going to have to hold it a little bit so that way it won't move. Make sure you have a strong grip mat. And I'm going to come back once it's done cutting. Okay, so here is my image after it cuts. Okay, let's see. A little bit clear. And some of the pieces came up, but it didn't rip it. It didn't rip any other um, pieces. I don't think it ripped uh, what tore was the outer border. And so basically, you're just going to take this off the mat and it's going to come right up. And I just took off the um, border. And basically, you can just pull it right up. See how it just came right up? I'm sorry. They made a little bit sticky in my thought. See how it just came right up? And it ain't nothing in peel? It's because I did it with the deep blade. The deep blade, you don't have to do much work. See, it just comes right up. And that, that piece right here. It was from the outer border, so it's still oh, good. But if you want to just, you know, you can roll your mat and it can come right up just like that if you don't want to do it piece by piece. And that's basically how I do the puzzle. Um, I will link everything in the description that I use as far as the sticky paper and as far as the chipboard, which ones I use. I purchased it off of Amazon. Uh, I got my deep blade just from the craft store. Um, and if you do any projects with using my methods, feel free to email me your beautiful work, um, your beautiful project. Uh, I just want to see what you all created. Um, if you like what you see, like, share, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all later.